Ripple has fetched data from a recent crypto and blockchain-focused survey with the Faster Payments Council. But is the survey true to have cited regulation as a barrier? By the way, Ripple has disclosed its 20 million transactions within 70 payout markets while imploring businesses to leverage RippleNet for treasury payments. Also, we will be looking at the importance of de-risking amid the XRP slump. Finally, Deaton previously disclosed that he believes a ruling on the Ripple v's the SEC case could arrive by April end. We will be taking a closer review at the possibility of such a prediction. Keep watching this video to find out more so that you don't miss out on an excellent opportunity to win a giveaway of 300 XRP tokens at the end of this month. Hey guys, welcome back to Whiteboard Crypto Update, the best spot for your daily dose of everything XRP and cryptocurrency. In today's video, we will talk about XRP's future. So be sure to stay focused as you surely don't want to miss out on this. If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications by hitting the bell so you never miss any of our uploads and also enter our giveaway. Please remember this is not a financial advice video. A recent Ripple report reveals that key payment industry leaders think blockchain and cryptocurrency can effectively enhance the payment sector. However, they identify regulatory ambiguity as the primary impediment to crypto adoption. Ripple fetched the data from a recent survey with the Faster Payments Council. Ripple shared the publication in a recent tweet. According to the report, Ripple and the U.S. Faster Payments Council surveyed to gather the opinions of up to 300 payment leaders on the benefits and challenges of blockchain and cryptocurrency in the payment sector. Out of the 300 leaders surveyed, an overwhelming 97% agreed that blockchain and cryptocurrency could improve the speed of payments in the next three years. These respondents also believe blockchain and crypto could boost customer value in the industry. Despite multiple barriers, cryptocurrency is gradually creeping into the mainstream payment sector. Users of crypto payments in the United States are expected to increase to 5.5 million this year. This would mark a 305% increase in three years. Moreover, more than 50% of the survey respondents believe most merchants will accept crypto payments in the next one to three years. The survey also sought to identify the most significant advantage crypto can offer the payment industry, with 36% of respondents citing faster payment resolution as the primary benefit. Meanwhile, 32% of respondents cited the reduced cost of international payments, and 19% pointed to the lower cost of domestic payments. The survey found that although most respondents contemplate using crypto in payments, only 17% are presently in favor of crypto payments. The overwhelming majority of these respondents, approximately 89%, identified regulatory uncertainty as the primary obstacle to the widespread adoption of crypto payments. Industry leaders have expressed concern over the global lack of regulatory transparency in the crypto sector, with specific attention paid to the United States. Ripple's ongoing legal battle with the US SEC is an example of the challenges arising from this uncertainty. Coinbase CEO Brian Armstrong recently revealed that the exchange might consider relocating from the U.S. if regulatory clarity is not achieved within the next few years. Despite the regulatory uncertainties, some regions, such as Hong Kong, are already making strides to address this issue. Furthermore, the European Union Parliament recently approved the Markets in Crypto Act, MSCA, regulation to oversee crypto markets within the European Union. This framework is considered the most comprehensive crypto regulatory framework globally and is set to take effect next year. In addition to regulatory uncertainty, respondents also expressed concerns about the environmental impact of cryptocurrencies, which they consider a hindrance to widespread adoption. Ripple has taken the lead in championing various initiatives to address this issue. Ripple has processed nearly $30 billion in up to 20 million transactions using its global proprietary payment solution, RippleNet, since its launch. 
The California-based blockchain technology company disclosed this in a quick guide on how companies can streamline treasury payments with RippleNet. Pseudonymous XRP community influencer Rathof Kahneman shared the guide in a recent tweet, calling attention to the impressive heights the payment solution has reached. Through the guide, Ripple sought to encourage the use of its payment solution as a means to enhance treasury payments for companies. Ripple's payment solution promises a broad range of offerings to help facilitate more efficient treasury flows for businesses. These offerings include access to Ripple's extensive global network, which cuts across several countries, including India, Brazil, the United Arab Emirates, Mexico, Singapore, the UK, and many other regions. Ripple called attention that these regions account for most of the global remittance volume. Notably, India and Mexico had the highest volume of remittance inflows throughout 2022, boasting $100 billion and $60 billion in remittances. India has continued to take the top spot in the past 15 years. Moreover, Ripple further highlighted that its payment solution has expanded to almost 70 payout markets globally, with recent additions such as Brazil, Singapore, Malaysia, France, and Sweden. This figure represents up to 90% of the global foreign exchange market. With this, businesses need not worry about low adoption. Data from the guide also revealed that Ripple processed over $1 billion in transaction volume in the Asia-Pacific region alone for the first quarter of 2022. Countries in the Asia-Pacific region include India and Singapore. It bears mentioning that Ripple recently released a document highlighting three use cases for its RippleNet solution, concerning three unique partners in each case. Treasury flow is one of these use cases. The other two are remittances and SME payments. In the report, Ripple pointed out that companies spend an estimated $3.5 billion to settle issues related to treasury flows, with up to $10 trillion in trapped capital for pre-funding purposes. Ripple seeks to address these issues with its payment solution. The firm highlighted People as a platform that leverages the solution to streamline its treasury XRP has not been spared from the massive drop suffered by the cryptocurrency market flows. Furthermore, the broader cryptocurrency market is facing a massive downturn, and XRP has not been spared in the onslaught. Amid this prevailing downtrend, David Schwartz, CTO at Ripple, has stressed the importance of employing a de-risking strategy even with one's XRP holdings. Schwartz disclosed this in a recent tweet in response to a statement from an XRP investor who disclosed that he had undertaken a month-long de-risking strategy on his XRP holdings. Sir Clown Sniper, a pseudonymous XRP investor, recently revealed that up to 55% of his XRP holdings stopped out as XRP dropped to the $0.45 mark. While this isn't generally a bullish outcome, the investor noted that he feels much better having less exposure to XRP. He also disclosed that he's been de-risking his XRP position in the past month. David Schwartz responded to this disclosure, noting that employing a strategy to minimize risk exposure to an asset is a rational and smart decision for an investor. However, he emphasized that investors hesitate about employing this strategy regardless of whether the market is experiencing an uptrend or a downtrend. De-risking is rational and smart, and there will asterisk never asterisk feel like a good time to do it. Market high. Maybe you'll go higher. Market low. Why sell when the market's low, he remarked, highlighting the apprehensions that often accompany investment decisions. De-risking is a strategy investors employ to minimize the risks associated with a particular asset, in this case XRP. This can include diversifying one's portfolio or using risk management tools like stop-loss orders, among other moves. The goal is to minimize potential losses while maintaining exposure to the potential upside of the asset. Schwartz remarks come amid the prevalent market-wide slump that has battered XRP to a four-week low of $0.45. Despite the bull's resilience to keep the asset's price up, XRP broke below the 
and 48 cents price level for the first time this month. Recall that veteran analyst E. Gregg previously predicted that a drop to $0.40 for XRP was still possible at a time when the asset was trading at the $0.50 level. According to E. Gregg, this slump would not necessarily invalidate the asset's projected rally in the future as he asserted that XRP below $1 presents a life-changing opportunity for investors. XRP is trading for $0.45, down 1.16% in the past 24 hours. Now to the big question of the day. Will Judge Torres rule by next week? The legal battle between California-based technology company Ripple and the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, lasted over 28 months. Several speculations on the date of the final ruling have emerged, with one of the latest coming from two pro-XRP lawyers who suggested that a judgment could come by the end of April. Prominent attorney John Deaton forecasted a few weeks back that Judge Annalisa Torres could present a judgment for the case by the end of this month. Following the Daubert motions, he cited previous patterns in the U.S. judges' decisions. Deaton noted that if a ruling does not come before May 6 of the latest, then it would be inconsistent with how Judge Torres handled past cases. So what I've been telling people is that we'll get the ruling, somewhere between March 6 and May 6, Deaton concluded. April is expected to close in seven days, with 12 days between now and May 6. If this forecast is accurate, the crypto community can expect a ruling on the case in the next two weeks. Notably, crypto influencer Ben Armstrong, commonly called BitBoy, suggested a ruling could come in June or July based on his convictions. Ashley Prosper, an ex XRP community member, shares the same sentiment as attorneys Deaton and Filing. Prosper highlighted in a recent tweet that April 27 would mark the 52nd day since Judge Torres ruled on the Daubert motions. Citing past cases, Prosper asserted that a ruling on the summary judgment could come next week. However, Prosper, as well as other XRP community members, acknowledged that the Ripple SEC case is unlike any other case Judge Torres has handled, and the time needed to reach a decision could be different from past cases. Earlier this month, Attorney Deaton noted that he does not blame Judge Torres for the delay in her judgment noting that a ruling on the case would represent one of the biggest decisions she has ever made. Think about what other decision is as big as this decision when it comes to global trade and finance in modern history. This is the most significant no-fraud SEC enforcement action since 1946. Deaton said while speaking on a crypto law broadcast, amid this anticipation, Deaton has continued to express optimism about a favorable ruling. Last week, he noted that he is confident that Judge Torres will rule that XRP in secondary sales is not a security and that the token itself is not a security. Most recently, Deaton asserted that the SEC would lose in the case, citing four judgments made by different judges against the agency's arguments in past cases. Moreover, Gary Gensler's inability to confidently brand XRP and Ethereum as securities in the recent congressional oversight hearing has fueled more speculations that the agency will lose. Well, guys, that's all we have for you today. What are your thoughts on XRP? Get involved and let us know in the comments down below. If you guys like this video, then be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Also, if you don't want to miss out on any new future videos, then be sure to click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification under this video so that you're notified the next time we upload a video on the latest XRP and cryptocurrency news. Until the next video comes out, you can watch our other videos about XRP or other cryptocurrencies. Thank you for watching, and we will see you again in the next video. Goodbye.